Good evening. It's 9 p.m. here in Seoul. Thank you for joining us on Arirang News. We begin with South Korea's main satellite now in space that was on board the country's homegrown rocket, the Nuri. The nation's science ministry has officially confirmed that the satellite has established two-way communication with Earth. Four other payloads out of eight are also linked up with ground stations. Our Kim jong chil has what this means and what comes next. South Korea's first homegrown space rocket, the Nuri, transported eight satellites into orbit on Thursday. The nation's science ministry confirmed on Friday morning that communication has been made successfully with the main satellite. On the day of the launch at around 7.58 yesterday, the initial communication with the next generation satellite 2 was successfully made at the first attempt followed by seven additional communications at dawn today. Also, we have checked and confirmed that the functions of the satellite, including the transmission and reception system, command and data processing system, and the power generation system of the solar panel are all operating normally. As for the remaining satellites, the general director said that communication has been made with two out of four CUBE satellites developed by the Korea Astronomy and Space Science Institute and two of the three developed by Korean companies. That's five out of eight. The general director said that given the characteristics of the CUBE satellites, it could take a few days until communication is made with the remaining three. As for the next generation satellite 2 that was considered to be the most important passenger on board Nuri is operating as intended. The main technology on board the next generation satellite 2 is called Synthetic Aperture Radar or SAR. This is a payload that allows us to observe planet Earth day and night even if it's cloudy. So it's our top mission to verify that the technology is functioning. Other challenges include measuring the amount of radiation near Earth and also verifying other core space technologies. We asked him what the future may hold with this technology. What we are hoping is to use the technology in the future to conduct research on Arctic sea ice. For example, if we expect that the change in the Arctic sea ice may influence countries around it, we can use the data to warn them or to predict future climate change. The next generation satellite 2 still has years to prove itself. But if all goes well, we may have taken a step toward in getting key information on climate change. Kim Jong-sil, Arirang News.